Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube, this is Vasse here and in this video I am going to show you how you can update the iOS of your iPhone using iTunes on Windows. So let's begin the video. For this you are going to need the following things. A Windows machine which has an active and strong internet connection. Also, the Windows machine should have enough free storage in the local disk C or the C drive because when you are going to backup data and when you are going to restore it back to your iPhone, you need to have sufficient storage. So let's assume that you have 40 GB of data on your iPhone. So when you are going to restore it, you are going to need an additional 40 GB. So for this, you should have at least 90 GB of free storage on your C drive if your iPhone has 40 GB of data. Secondly, you are going to need a cable to connect your iPhone with your Windows machine and lastly your iPhone of which you are going to update the iOS. So first of all we are going to move towards our Windows machine and download and install a free software. On your Windows machine you are going to open the Microsoft store. On the search bar type iTunes and here we have iTunes. So we are going to download and install this free software. This software is officially provided by Apple which is used to download and update the iOS of our iPhone and also to backup data. So we are going to click on the get button. You can see that the size of the application is 227 MB. We are going to wait until it is installed. Once installed click on the open button. We are going to close the Microsoft Store, agree to the iTunes terms and conditions after reading them and here we have iTunes installed, click on agree. Now we are going to connect our iPhone to our Windows machine which has iTunes installed and we are going to unlock our iPhone as well. For the first time it may ask you to trust this PC so just simply click on trust on your iPhone and enter the lock screen passcode of your iPhone. For my case, I have already connected it previously, so that's why it's not asking for it. You will have a box, a new iPhone software version. This is available for the iPhone. Would you like to download it and update your iPhone now? So we are going to click on download only. Agree to the terms and conditions. Next and agree. So now on the top right side of iTunes, you are going to see this download icon. If you see this error message, just click on OK and ignore it. On the top right side, click on this download icon. And you can see that iPhone software update is being downloaded. The total size is 8.37 GB and 5 hours are remaining according to my internet speed. So you should have a steady and good internet connection. Make sure that you do not interrupt the internet connection or make your laptop to go to sleep because in that way the download will be interrupted and iTunes will start the download from the very beginning which is a very bad thing from iTunes but this is how it is. So as the update is being downloaded we can at the same time backup our iPhone as well using iTunes. For that on the left side click on the phone icon that you see. Here it will show you all the details of your iPhone. We are going to scroll down to backups. In backups, here it says automatically backup. We are going to select this computer so that all the data of the iPhone is stored on this Windows machine. And we are going to select the option encrypt local backup. Here you need to enter your password whichever you want to make so that when we are going to restore this backup you need to know this password otherwise you will be unable to restore your data from this machine to your iPhone. So enter a password that you can remember. After that click on set password. And now on the iPhone you need to enter the passcode that you use to unlock your iPhone. Here it says trust this computer. So again I am going to enter the lock screen passcode of my iPhone. Once it is done iTunes will start backing up your iPhone. Here you can see iTunes is showing the estimated time remaining while it is backing up my iPhone. So the time will vary depending on how much data you have on your iPhone. So at this point we will not 
use our iPhone or unplug it from our Windows machine because it is backing it up. So here we have the backup process and on the top right side in downloads we have the iTunes downloading the latest iOS as well. So we have two things happening parallelly. Now I will wait until the backup process is completed. Once your iPhone has been backed up to your Windows machine, here in latest backup you will see the date and time. So it was today at 4.32 pm to this computer. So in this way you can verify whether your iPhone has been backed up or not. And after that you can simply unplug your iPhone from the PC as well because we are still going to wait because if we look at the top right side click on the downloads you can see that the download is still happening and around 17 hours are remaining in my case. So as the download is happening I can simply use my iPhone regularly and after that we can restore our iPhone. However you should be aware that the data that you will receive after this process will not be backed up if you want to save the new data as well you have to redo the backup process for me i know i'm not going to receive that much data on my iphone so i am not worried however if you want the most latest data of your iphone then you need to do the backup process again when the software update is downloaded once the latest ios file has been downloaded i'm going to reconnect my iphone you can see a new iPhone software version is available for the iPhone. Would you like to update your iPhone now? So we are going to click on later. On the left side, we are going to click on the phone icon. Here you can see we have two options. Either we can update our iPhone or restore our iPhone. So by update, it will basically install the new iOS files to our iPhone and it will not remove our old iOS files. If you click on restore, basically this is a factory reset where it will erase all the previous data on our iPhone and then install the iOS file. This will eventually save space on our iPhone and once our iPhone has been uh, restored, we can yeah, basically get our data that we just backed up from our PC and put it back on our iPhone. So that's why we're going to go with the restore option. It's a little time taking but it's much better in space saving for the long term again before you click on the restore button make sure that your iphone is connected with the windows machine and you have backed up your data i'm going to click on restore iphone here it's saying find my must be turned off before this iphone can be restored so i am going to click on ok on our iphone i'm going to unlock it i'm going to open settings from here you're going to click on your profile picture we are going to scroll down where we have find my option and we are going to simply click on find my iPhone and we are going to disable this option. So when you are going to disable it, it's going to ask you to enter your Apple ID password. So let me enter mine. Now you can see find my iPhone has been turned off. We are going to go back on iTunes. I am going to again click on restore iPhone. Are you sure you want to restore the iPhone to its factory settings? All your media and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed. So I am going to click on restore and update because I have all of my data backed up on this computer. On the top you have this progress bar extracting software. So now your iPhone may restart several times. Do not use your iPhone or unplug it from the Windows machine. You may see the Apple logo with the loading bar multiple times. So we are going to wait until the software installation process is completed. The iOS update may take between 20 to 30 minutes depending on your machine and your iPhone. Now you have the Apple logo and it's showing that you need to connect your cable with the laptop or Windows machine. Since it is already connected, we are not going to do anything. Here you can see I have the Apple logo with the progress bar. So now we are just going to leave it as it is and the iPhone may restart several times. Your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. The iPhone is restarting and now we have another progress bar. You can see our iPhone has started up and here on iTunes you can see success your iPhone has been unlocked. We are going to click on continue. Now. If you want to obviously move your data from your Windows machine again back to your iPhone, 
with the updated iOS you need to select this option we are going to select restore from this backup and since we only backed up once it will show it right here with the date and time I am going to click on continue now you need to enter your password which you use to encrypt your backup on your windows machine restoring iPhone from backup estimating time remaining so again it will take some time depending on how much data that you backed up again do not unplug your iPhone from the windows machine as the restoration process of your data is happening here I have encountered an error iTunes could not restore the iPhone because an error occurred while reading from or writing to the iPhone so this error will occur if you do not have enough free storage on your local disk C drive as I told you at the start of this video however if you got this error there is a way to solve this we're going to click on ok what we are basically going to do is to move our data from the local disk C to another drive or to an external drive if you have connected to it and then we are going to restore the backup from that drive it's a little bit complicated but I will try my best to show you the solution on the search bar type percentage app data percentage and open this folder we are going to go back to app data again to our username and here we have our apple folder open this folder go to mobile sync and here you are going to have the backup folder inside which we have our backup so all you need to do is to basically cut your data from here go to your second drive which has enough storage and paste your data over there once the data have been copied to your second drive which has enough storage you are going to go back to the original folder where you actually uh, cut and pasted the data what we are going to do is to click on this search bar and we are going to copy this address because we are going to use it in CMD. Now open any text editor and type the command mklink. We are going to enter space, enter forward slash, capital J, inverted commas two times and inside it just paste the address that you just copied for your folder. After that at the end just type this slash and enter backup go outside the inverted commas enter space type the inverted commas again inside them type the drive name so in my case the second drive name is d so i'm going to type d dot dot and inside i have my folder so it's going to be something like this as you can see right here after that we are just simply going to copy this command open cmd make sure to run it as an administrator paste the command and click on enter you can see junction has been created we are not going to close cmd just scroll down and here in itunes just close it once so that everything gets refreshed open itunes again and my iphone is already connected with the same machine click on the phone icon again and from here in backups click on restore backup select your backup that is the latest one click on restore enter the password again of your backup and now itunes will try to backup the data from the new address that we just provided and if i tap on the iphone you can see restore is in progress after a long time you can see the restoration process has been completed on the iphone you can see it says restore completed so i'm going to click on continue now I all I need to do is to set up my face ID etc and here nothing to do on the windows machine I should tell you that using this process it took a lot of time because we had to give it an alternate path for the backup here you can see I have my iPhone with all the data restored however it's going to download all the apps but they should be signed in automatically because I have restored my data anyways if I open the settings go to general software update you can see i have ios 18.1 which is the latest update so i have successfully updated the ios of my iphone using itunes now on itunes you can simply close itunes and if you want to you can delete the backup data that you stored on your second drive which was in my case the d drive 
However, if you want to check your iPhone for one to two days or for even a week before deleting it, you should store it because something may go wrong with your iPhone and you may want to restore this backup again. But yeah guys, in this way you can do so. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe. If you have any other questions, write them in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Other than that, thank you for watching and as always, stay safe.